without exception, we've had a really, really good response to the point where some people feel the dog is acting like a puppy again. All patients have shown improvement, and at this point, many of them are at the 10-month period and are showing remarkable improvements in mobility, uh, in agility, and overall comfort. With the StemLogix procedure, what we're doing is collecting sub-Q fat from the patient and able to process that fat and isolate the stem cells in-house relatively quickly, usually within about 90 minutes to two hours, that we can put them back into the patient. A variety of different arthritic and degenerative joint disease conditions that we've treated, like elbow dysplasia, hip dysplasia, partially torn cruciate ligaments, and degenerative joint disease. But the reason we're doing it in-house is because we're convinced by the research that's been done that the numbers and viability of the cells is much greater if we can do it and return it to the same dog in as short a period of time as possible. The procedure can be done in just about three, four hours. Whereas before, we used to have to ship the tissue out, get it back three to four days later, set up a separate appointment to apply those cells. So this is a lot more cost effective for us and time effective for our client. Many clients really would prefer to have everything done on the same day, and the STEM logic technology allows us to do so. Because we only have a matter of hours involved from harvesting to re-injection of the cells, they don't have much chance to die. The advantage of stem cell therapy is that not only do we have that anti-inflammatory capability, we have the potential to help repair cartilage uh, in the joints, much more so than traditional joint supplements. We also have the ability to control inflammation that is much safer on a long-term basis than many of these medications. The fact that we're using cells that are the animal's own cells reduce the, the possibility of adverse reaction. At this point, we have not seen a single adverse side effect associated with this therapy. The reported risk in the literature is, is, has been extremely low. The dog is sedated and approximately 20 cc's of fat are recovered from a relatively small incision. From that point, they go into the laboratory. I take it into the lab and start processing it. And it's a very detail-oriented process, but everything is so well documented that it's easy to follow. All the equipment that we got from SimLogix makes it very easy to process the stem cells on site in our hospital. Everything that you need for that one collection, that one thing, is all inclusive right there, so you're not scrambling for any extra materials or new things on the side. Probably even better than the material is the quality of the training that we got. Very, very meticulous in documenting how we're to do the procedures. How are we to process the cells? How are we going to evaluate the quality of the product that we've produced? So that was really amazing that they did such a good job with that. The most remarkable case that we've had has been a Mastiff named Eleanor. We had a 12-year-old Husky mix that was wearing braces on both back legs. Eleanor had significant partial tears of both cruciate ligaments, knee arthritis, elbow arthritis, some hip dysplasia too. We administered stem cells to her approximately seven months ago. And within, I'd say, two weeks of treatment, the dog had no braces on, was jumping into the back of a car, going up and down the stairs. I mean, 10 times better than you could have ever imagined. Within two weeks of injections, she showed marked improvement, and that improvement has continued and been sustained. It's pretty amazing watching such a huge transformation from braces to nothing on the back legs. In August, it'll be a year, and the dog's still doing great. Dog's 10, 12 years old, and all of a sudden, they're bouncing around like they're three or four. That's really, really rewarding. Uh, especially with some of these animals that have been on some sort of pain relief for years. It's becoming increasingly recognized by the profession that this is going to be something that over the next three to four to five years is going to become a part of a lot of dogs' therapy.